بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس آئی انجینئر شاد محمد لیکچرر ایٹ ڈپارٹمنٹ آف سول انجینئرنگ کام سیٹس یونیورسٹی اسلام آباد ساہیوال کیمپس ویلکم یو آل ٹو دس اندر انٹرسٹنگ لیکچر دس ویل بی اور لیکچر نمبر 28 آف دا سبجیکٹس میکینکس آف سالڈس 2 اینڈ وی ول بی ڈویلپنگ اور پریویس کانسیپٹس آن موہر سرکل اینڈ In our previous lectures, we studied about stress transformation, why stress transformation is required and uh, the basics of stress transformation, the orientation of the stress transformation. As we are studying the stress transformation chapter and failure theories and uh, these are the two basic major topics of this chapter. We study stress transformation with two different methods. One was the classical equation method and the second one was the Mohr circle method that is graphical approach. Uh, I don't know, uh, maybe in some problems uh, there are restrictions that you have to solve by the equation method or uh, you have to solve by Mohr circle but uh, results are same, uh, few students find it easier to solve Mohr circle and uh, few students find it easier to solve um, that uh, equation method. Anyhow, Mohr circle have further applications in uh, other subjects too, so Mohr circle needs to be emphasized and uh, you should be commanding the Mohr circle a lot and uh, Anyhow, uh, both uh, methods and Excel sheet can be developed and uh, you should be capable enough of uh, for developing those Excel sheets. Anyhow, I will give you some assignment regarding that too. Um, meanwhile, we will be discussing another problem on Mohor Circle. Uh, for a brief overview of uh, all these concepts, you can revisit your uh, lecture number 27. And at the start of the problem, I discussed the necessity of all these concepts. So you should um, overview them and uh, come up with the nice concepts and uh, here we are with the problem number 7.10. For the state, stress state, stress state, uh, you can see that uh, this is the state of the stress and how you are going to get the state of the stress is that from real loading conditions and under combined loading and uh, go for the maximum stresses, maximum axial stresses and maximum shear stresses and uh, you will get a stress block and uh, Mohr circle determine the principal stresses and maximum shear element. By maximum shear element, he said that um, uh, element, this is your element, okay, shear block or this. Uh, when you are drawing this element, uh, th this means that you have to show the maximum stresses and also the orientation of the stresses, okay. All right. So what do you are looking at? You are seeing um, a um, compressive load in uh, compressive stresses in 12 ksi and uh, tensile stresses in 8 ksi and uh, this is shear stresses uh, 5 ksi uh, and that is uh, um, you can see the top right corner uh, both arrows are moving outwards so this will be negative sh um, shear stresses so you have to um, state this accordingly what you are seeing axial stress is negative uh, y, stress is in y direction positive stress in x y are negative too so very easily you can find uh, two things that uh, you are going to solve draw a motor circle for drawing a motor circle you what you have to do is this that you have to draw the uh, cartesian coordinate system x and y uh, and you have to replace x with the uh, principal stresses sigma and uh, y with shear stresses tau. Secondly, you have to find the origin point and origin point you can find with the help of average stresses and uh, stress mean is equal to 1 by 2 uh, sigma x plus sigma y and uh, this uh, you can take the sign conventions and uh, take um, care of this signs and you come to know that minus 2 ksi is the mean stresses and uh, compressive stresses mean stresses are compressive stresses anyhow the resultant uh, okay, compressive stresses not are not always mean stresses but this time this compressive stresses are mean stresses and uh, because these are average stresses average stresses are compressive stresses at this case okay uh, resultant uh, uh, star maximum is equal to on uh, root of 1 by 4 uh, and uh, you put this values and you get 11.18 ksi 
what you are going to do is this that this is the radius of your circle and uh, first locate minus 2 ksi and uh, you can see that uh, shear stresses will be zero here and uh, you have put a dot here and uh, you have drawn a circle of radius 11.18 ksi okay very simple second step second step is this that uh, you have to locate the original stress block and I told you before that there are two coordinates uh, one is x with uh, x and y and one is um, x and y2 you can see this over here that uh, x is uh, sigma x and uh, y is uh, tau xy and here um, x is uh, in x direction there is shear and y is this one uh, sigma y all right so two coordinates uh, point a let's call it point a you can assume point b c d or whatever you like and uh, sigma x is in comma tau and you can see that uh, sigma is minus one what's this sigma a okay oh um, a is, he is calling to the origin point origin point we have already checked out this one point b is uh, minus 12 and minus 5 ksi and uh, ksi ksi is a unit of stress what about mega pascal mega pascal is also unit of stress and that is in si system system international uh, international system of units whatever you call it and uh, second uh, ksi stands for kilo pounds per square inch and uh, that is the unit of uh, US customary units you can also call that uh, FPS system foot pound second system okay alternatively anyhow uh, so this this is these are your one coordinate and as point C and as another coordinate that is uh, uh, minus 5 and uh, 8 ksi wow 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 what is this what is this Okay, this is counterclockwise here this is positive for this direction and uh, in our previous example we also had some uh, K this one you can see okay okay last time I did not uh, mention this important thing that uh, um, this is your positive and shear is uh, positive here and uh, x sigma sigma is 120 sigma is uh, 120 and uh, shear is upward counterclockwise and that is positive but for this case uh, x is positive this uh, y y is positive but this uh, moment this this arrow this arrow is uh, going to rotate this uh, clockwise so this will be taken as negative minus 30 and similarly uh, over here this is uh, 12 ksi and uh, this is negative and this is um, going to move it clockwise that is negative minus ksi minus 5 and uh, point c um, this x axis is shear tau so 
first you have to show why sigma so sigma y is uh, 8 ksi moving outwards positive and uh, this will uh, move be anti clockwise so this will also be positive okay this point is important uh, previously i did not um, know i did not consider it important but uh, this is important uh, maybe i forgot uh, one of the key aspect of uh, this thing got it okay the circle uh, center is at uh, a and uh, with radius this one you have drawn the circle what you are going to do is this that you know that maximum shear stresses are here and maximum principal stresses are here and minimum principal stresses are here and uh, at which angle you are going to transform no transformation wow that's amazing you have to find this uh, inclination uh, with the principal stresses you take this triangle or this triangle that's up to you you will get the same answer that's the loveliest part okay apply this formula uh, take this triangle this triangle what we have uh, someone can tell why we have not taken this triangle amazing this triangle needs some uh, additional calculation because this is minus and uh, this is a simple calculation you need not to subtract anything or add anything so that's the point so we will go for easiness okay your best solutions are the easiest solutions your best solutions are the easiest solutions when you become masters when you uh, excel in something you produce simplified things simple things that is the, an excellent things and believe me simplest things are sophisticated things highly sophisticated things you have seen some people visiting some art galleries and uh, just a uh, few brushes strokes of brushes and they are sitting in front of those pictures and uh, canvases and for hours they are sitting there apparently the non um, that literary guy um, will see and uh, assume that why this is a stupid guy who is sitting in front of just uh, handmade brushes and picture made with handmade brushes simple thing but complex okay simplicity lies in mastery lies in simplicity of solution i keep on saying this thing again and again in even i mean papers i keep on mentioning this thing simplicity lies in simplest solutions okay so that's why for simplicity we took this triangle so this triangle is 2 theta p whenever you are going to cons uh, look into the Mohor circle you will go for uh, double angles and uh, when you are uh, out of the Mohor circle you will go for single angles okay <coughs> so 2 theta p and uh, what is the length of this one uh, that can be how much uh, what are the coordinates of this uh, v dash v dash coordinates are uh, what minus 12 wow this one b minus 12 we have to take this triangle okay this one up till here not here this one b dash and uh, minus 12 and uh, minus so 12 is the length okay 12 minus and it is starting from 2 lens can never be negative so this is 2 12 minus 2 you will get this length and this is 5 uh, and 5 is positive Okay, even if you take negative minus mm, 12, then you have to add minus 2. Okay, be cautious about this thing. Uh, distance is distance formula. So, if you get negative, negative, then it will be positive, and uh, your angle is uh, 26.57 degree. Uh, so, inside this circle, uh, you have 26.57 degree with the principal stresses and. Uh, minimum principal stresses you can find that uh, average stresses minus shear stresses maximum shear stresses and uh, average stresses plus shear stresses you will get maximum and orientation will be uh, outside the circle will be half of this angle so half of this angle is 13.28 degree and you can see that uh, you know minimum stresses are uh, uh, that maximum stress is 19 uh, 9.18 ksi 
uh, and mean stresses are 13.18 ksi so 13.18 ksi are in negative sense and uh, okay how are you going to tell that uh, what is the orientation because you have calculated your orientation in negative axis so minimum stresses your angle this orientation is well, why not uh, with the positive 9.18 okay tell okay this one because we have calculated our stresses in negative area if you calculate this over area then you are calculating 9.18 okay all right this is your principal stress block and uh, what's this transform stresses why is transform stresses why transform stresses so, okay rotate maximum shear stresses you can calculate by subtracting 90 from 90 minus uh, principal stresses you will get the orient orientation of maximum shear stresses Okay. And half of the, this outside the circle uh, will be 31.72. So this is uh, shear uh, angle will be considered positive when you are going clockwise. And uh, you can see that 11.18 uh, uh, KSI your maximum shear stresses this one and you have already calculated and you have seen that uh, when sh maximum shear stresses are there then in other directions you will have minimum mean stresses and that is minus and uh, minus means compression from all sides so this is your stress block element for shear stresses and this is your stress block element for no your not shear stress shear stress block this is your uh, principal stress block and this is your uh, shear stress block maximum shear stress block so very simple okay these uh, four as uh, four questions should be your assignment and uh, you should be solving them and uh, that's it for today we will come up with the uh, failure theories in our upcoming lectures and uh, thank you and uh, stress transformation chapter has uh, means that concept has completed almost assalamu alaikum